Now, Google has invested over $300 million in Anthropic, and it will take roughly 10% stake in the startup. Anthropic is an AI safety and research company that has developed an AI chatbot called Cloud, a large language model that can generate text, write codes, and it functions as an AI assistant similar to ChatGPT. The model originates from core concerns about future AI safety, and Anthropic has trained its model using a technique it calls constitutional AI. So Anthropic are prouding themselves that they are taking proud in having a chatbot that is less likely to produce harmful outputs than its competitors like ChatGPT, and it can provide summaries, answer questions, and provide assistance with writing and generate computer codes like its competitors. And it can also adapt to the tones, personality, and behavior at any given point. So let's take a look at how you can access this cloud AI chatbot and use it on your own and then see how you can, uh, how it is being compared with other chatbots, okay, in terms of gen how it generated its answers and how relevant and how connected they are with some of the chatbots that we have available. Specifically in this video, we're going to pay focus on ChatGPT. How is it related with the Google Cloud and how are both of them answering questions? How fast and how accurate they answer questions? So the first thing is we need to have access to the Cloud bot. And to have access to it, you need to come to a website called poor.com okay poor.com you can see it poor.com on your search bar you can just click on it and it will bring you over here fast helpful ai chat it houses a number of chat bots that you can play around with i will show you so to start with all you need to do is just to input your number select your country and put down your phone number just put down your phone number and you can go ahead and log in with either your username you can use an email and password or you can just go ahead and log in with your google account or if you have a, an Apple account, you can also proceed to log in with it. I've already signed in with my Google account. So let's just take it. Let me take you to the other side and let's see how to use this very chatbot to answer some very specific questions. So here we are at the poor portal. Okay, you can see there are a number of chatbots. We have the Sage chatbot, chatbot. Maybe later I can make a video on how to use the Sage. And then we have GPT-4. It's also incorporated here, but as a new user and unpaid user, you will have limited access to how many charts and how many prompts you can you can do with GPT-4. And we have Cloud, which is the normal one, and we have Cloud Plus, which is the paid version. And you have to pay to use it. If you don't have, to, if you don't pay, then you'll have very limited access. Usually, you will be left with only one single prompt to to, uh, to test it. And then we have the normal chat GPT over here, which is the normal free version. You can use it to answer any question on your own. And then we have Dragonfly, which is also another chatbot that you can easily play around with. So basically, Poi houses a number of chatbots that you can easily use. And the categorization of the results is very, very powerful and exceptionally professional in terms of the arrangement and how they highlight the key point for you to understand. So for this video, we are going to pay attention to using cloud and chat gpt okay the gpt 3.5 as well as the cloud so let's start with cloud and give it some very basic questions and let's see how we can answer so can we ask a simple question as like um, why is the sky blue okay you can see the fastness the speed in answering the question it's very 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 fast you can see the sky appears blue because molecules in the air scatter uh, blue light is from the sun more than the scatter red light when you look up at the sky this scattered blue light coming in all directions add up to create the appearance of a blue sky but then let's ask chat gpt the same question why is this sky blue and let's see from let's hear from chat gpt uh, why is this sky blue all right so let's see see, see chat gpt also is very very fast in doing it and it quickly points out to the fact that the process is still the same it appears because the way as atmosphere scattered sunlight sunlight is made of many different colors which have different wavelengths and when the sun enters its atmosphere the earth atmosphere it encounters gas molecules and other particles in the air these particles scatter the sunlight in all directions so shorter wavelengths and all that you can see the different reasons why 
it captures and at sunrise and so uh, at sunrise and sunset there is this process okay of the scattering so the light has to travel through more of earth's atmosphere i think this is more descriptive when compared with the cloud result which is very direct and composite scattered blue lights and then you can see some of the key difference some of the key reasons why it happens but the key thing here is both of them gave the answer as the process as regarding the process that causes the sky to be blue in color as this the wavelength the variation in wavelength and the scattering of the light molecules and so on so this is very correct only that one is more detailed than the other so let's ask another simple question again to see from both of them can you give me simple steps for business proposal for writing business proposal all right let's see you can see very fast now this is cloud see the, how fast it is very very fast it just gives you the results and it categorizes into six seven steps you can see um one thing it's 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 very direct here are some are the main steps in writing to write a business proposal define the problem clearly outline the problem that your proposal is solving this helps frame the need for your solution okay explain your solution and highlight key features and benefits share your timeline and costs build your credibility and then you have request a call to action okay request request a call to action and then include supporting documents in cases when you may be requiring documents like or visuals that strengthen your proposal things like data charts graphs images or letter of support can reinforce your key points i think this is very direct and and another thing that I like most is the speed and the accuracy. It gives you exactly what you want. Can you give me an example of a business proposal? And I'll give you some suggestions of what you can use uh, to better the prompt or to get a more better result from this. So can you give me an example of a business proposal? I can just ask it this question and you can see within seconds, it's going to generate a business proposal for me. Or what are some common mistakes to avoid when writing a business proposal? So let's say we give it this prompt. Can you give me an example of a business proposal? So let's see, can you give me an example of a business proposal? So let's just give us, you can see this is just an example. You have the subject to implement, implement a new marketing strategy, dear manager or client or whoever you're writing. So you can see I'm writing to, and you can see the, the details, okay? Launching a blog, a company blog, and this is, this is hosting local events and workshops. So you're telling it about the key details of what this proposal is going to do. Refreshing our website with a new design and then distributing a monthly newsletter and estimate, I estimate the, this initiative will take between four to six months, even the timeline, the timeline as well as the costs, okay? Approximately $15,000 per quarter. And however, they should deliver 15 to 25 percent increase in sales and so on so you'll be very detailed in terms of the key components that is required you can see how detailed and how fast cloud can go for you in terms of giving you the results so you can just copy customize this proposal to your own business style or business product that you want to market or you want you want to target as your as the proposal entails so let's take this two prompts to chat gpt and let's hear the results that it has so let's copy the first one steps for writing um business proposal it gives us about seven steps so let's see from chat gpt what steps is it going to give us all right so let's paste in sample simple steps for writing business proposal so let's see all right here are some simple steps for writing business proposal you can see one two three four it's giving up up to six seven also we can see it, they are nearly saying telling about the same thing as if they are related or they are hearing or they are seeing what the other chatbot is doing so you can see identify the problem or opportunity begin by identifying the problem and opportunity define your solution research the client outline your approach describe your qualifications and provide pricing and payment terms include a call to action you can see both of them are saying nearly the same thing but in a different terms okay using different terms but they are saying the same thing so this is to tell you that we are moving into a very completely new level in terms of this ai generated content they can generate it very fast and they can generate it with some degree of accuracy because you can see now both of them have generated very very concise and precise proposal steps so you can see this even asking you can you provide an example of a business proposal we can ask the same question and let's see here's a sample so you can see the example is given is quite different and you can see the step okay the steps is very very fast and it's very very accurate you can see how fast it's giving us the steps and 
they are two different things they are giving different answers but here's an example of a business proposal your company logo and uh, this one is intensifying and is giving more detail as to what and what you should include your company name company address city state zip code your company phone number address this is more detail you can put date here and then your client's name company's name and so on and all the de other details like the zip code the state id the city the email address you can put everything over there and then you can say dear client you just put the client's name we are pleased to submit this proposal to this client or decide you can insert the name you can just customize it to your liking so you can state in the proposal now this is giving you clear idea into where you should put your problem and opportunity and then you have your solution and what approach is this proposal going to take to solve that problem and then you have the qualification just like it is it intensifies in the simple steps you have to intensify your qualifications our team of professionals have extensive experience in you know put the area or the the the, the field that you are going to write the proposal in we have successfully completed similar projects for other clients you can now give details and examples of other similar projects that you've completed and how what are the success stories what are the key things that you can highlight in summary you can just speak and say that we've achieved certain degree of recognition or certain degree of this in the market or we've solved this kind of problem successfully and then you talk about the pricing okay pricing and payment terms you can go and uh, go ahead and, and say all this in detail and then you have the option at the at the end of it to do call to action what do you want the company to do for you so we are confident that our proposal provides a compelling solution to this problem okay we will be delighted to discuss this proposal in more detail and answer any questions you may have so by this you are now giving it uh, giving them a room for them to call you to discuss about the proposal and then you can see how you can both uh, solve the problem and then you can get the funds so this is actually how to use this chatbot in a very simple way to get prompts and to solve your problems directly so let's say we can prompt it to solve or to write computer codes for us let's see whether cloud can do that so we start with cloud and let's go ahead and just type this question okay so we can try this and say write a matlab code to design a water tank with depth of 50 meters and discharge of 300 meter cube per second so can you help us do that we'll just we're just specific with the matlab code so let's see if we can write codes okay just a simple code to design this here's a matlab code that could be used to model a water tank with a depth of this and this so you can see it has given us fantastically so you can see the details solve for ODE, set up differential equations, define the tank parameters, depth, depth of tank, and uh, discharge of tank, discharge rate, you can see all that. So you can see the simple program it has generated, plot results, solve the ODE, ordinary differential equations, and then plot the curves, and you can see the results. Okay, this code will solve the differential equation governing the water depth over time, and plots the results. Okay, so it has given you the code. So let's see whether chat gpt can also give us similar thing and how are the two different all right so let's say we're in chat gpt now and you paste the same question all right so let's hear the response and as an ai language model i cannot generate physical designs or codes of infrastructure project okay so now it's giving you steps okay it's just trying to maintain safety and play safe but i know it can give these steps you can see design define this uh, choose an appropriate tank design consider the structural integrity of the tank and then determine the optimal flow rates of the tank these are steps actually to do the design can you so let's say can you give us give us a sample code with the above data let's see uh, as a language model is still insisting that it's not going to do that for us so you can see this is now another look just like a short comment on the side of uh, chat gpt and you see cloud has just solved that very very fast and you see this is this is something that chat gpt, yeah, chat GPT could not do and you just take note of it but chat uh, cloud just give us the results in a very professional way to solve the problem so let's go ahead and see how how strong both of them are in terms of solving mathematical problems for example we have i have a word problem that i, can, I want to, to i want to prompt them to solve and let's see a farming field can be plowed for by six tractors in four days when six tractors work together each of them plows 120 hectares a day if two of the tractors were moved to another field then the remaining four tractors could plow the same field in five days how many hectares a day will one tractor plow then 
So this is very direct. This is question four. So let's uh, let's copy it and see how we can. Let's see the solution. You can see the solution, and you see the answer is 144. Okay. So let's see what these boats can do. We let's start with cloud. All right. So we we'll just pass the the problem. You can see it has just. Um, so let's hear the answer from it. Uh, this is very fast you can see very very fast and it gives us the answer 144 hectares and that's exceptionally correct one tractor plus 144 hectares a day uh, therefore one tractor plus 144 per which is 34 hectares per day each of the four tractors plus 144 and that's correct so let's see from the answer this is x equals to 140 each of the four tractors will plus 144 and that's very correct so just went on to give us some more details now let's plow this let's prompt the same math problem with the chat gpt and let's see whether it's going to get that same answer so this chat gpt and let's prompt the same question and hear what it has to okay let's start with this 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 and now we go ahead and give us the details yep and the answer is i don't know why chat but yeah chat gpt is taking too long and it still didn't get anything close to the answer yeah it doesn't doesn't get the answer on this one I think this is very bad it couldn't solve this problem so you can see the shortcoming in terms of the mathematical equations or mathematical strength of chat gpt maybe you can have the answer in gpt4 so let's give it a try on gpt4 whether it's going to give us that answer so with just one prompt that we have let's try it here and let's see the solution let's first find the total area of the field and then we we'll go ahead to the area of the field this 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 this, this. i just want to see 144 as the answer and all right in five days number of tractors and number of times area of plowed and you can see now it's getting close to the answer and that's it is it gets it the answer is 144 so chat gpt could not get the answer but gpt4 unfortunately or fortunately for us got the answer correctly and that's superb we can clap for it because now we can see that the gpt4 is truly an upgrade of the gpt 3.5 because they've input so many so many things to make difference to make a difference out of it and we can clearly see just based on this simple project this simple problem that we just in, inserted in it now let's try cloud um 4.0 cloud plus because we've not tried cloud plus to see how interesting and how fast it's going to solve the problem but then let's take a much bigger problem something that is much more tricky and let's see whether cloud plus can can solve that for us so let's go back to the mass problem and select question 10 because i like question 10 as it entails a lot of the different difficulties in it the distance between station a and b is 148 kilometers an express train left station a towards station b with the speed of 80 kilometers per hour at the same time a freight train left station b towards station a with the speed of 36 kilometers per hour they met at station c at 12 pm um, by that time, the express train stopped at intermediate station for 10 minutes and the freight train, the freight train stopped for 5 minutes. Find the distance between station C and, and B at the time when the freight, uh, tr the freight train left station B. So you see, this is a bit, a little bit uh, destructive and very, very detailed question, a, a very complex question. So let's see the answer and let's copy let's see the solution you can see the solution very tricky but then the answer is at 10 35 a.m that's the when the uh, the, the therefore the, the station the freight stand, freight train left the station at 10 35 a.m that's the answer so let's try to prompt both of them and see the results starting with cloud plus so let's see on cloud plus what we are going to get all right let's let's be the only prompt we'll have okay the train this 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 uh, so in the main in the remaining time it travels this is this let's see the timing i'm just after the timing what time does it left the train all right 6 a.m so the oh so the time when the freight left freight train left the station b is 6 a.m are you sure it's 6 a.m let's prompt it and let's check the answer again i think the answer is 10 35 a.m that's the answer they got here but it's not 6 a.m so that's uh, cloud plus so let's see uh, from cloud okay 6 a.m so let's try from uh, cloud the normal cloud and let's give it the same question and see whether it's going to get it right okay so this is it very fast what i like about the cloud is it's very very fast let's see the results 
8:29 a.m. Is it? <laughs> let's tr let's check it one more time. The time is it 8:29 or is 10:35? So none of them could get the correct answer. 10:35. Now we are getting two different answers. Let's try Chat GPT then and see whether we're going to get that same result. So prompt it to Chat GPT and let's hear what the result is going to be like. Even though Chat GPT is not so accurate when compared with the remaining ones gpt plus gpt4 and so on so the time what time is it what time 11 50 a.m 8 30 a.m is it surprise 8 35 wonderful i think chat gpt got it very got very close to it very very close <clears throat> the answer is 8 35 and chat gpt surprisingly got 8 30 which is the closest we have in both the three chatbots that we've tried. So this shows that there is some variations in their strength. Some have some upper hand over the others uh, as regards the type of question and the level of difficulty. They could be very, very direct and they could uh, sometimes perceive it as a tricky question. But it's all bows down to you, the user. Go ahead and try both of them. But I think GPT-4 is a very big upgrade when compared to GPT-3.5 and ChatGPT. Okay, so and cloud is there to make a huge difference. I've equally tried other people who have interacted with these chatbots and been able to record some of their experiences. For example, there's this one that actually enticed me. This one that says, uh, how fast would a 100 meter diameter space station need to rotate in order to, to, to generate 1G of acceleration at the outer circumference? Don't give an answer immediately. Reason step by step about the problem, set up the calculation before doing them, and then and only state your answer after that. Then review what you've said and then make corrections if you spot any errors. So surprisingly, Cloud went on to solve the problem directly, following the steps, arriving at the answer, and then showing the review process, reviewing this reason, and then it shows the areas where it has made the mistakes, which shows that this bot is having the capability to teach people on how to solve mathematical problems or what problems, okay, without you just um, the normal way of writing the question and then getting the answer perfect. It can equally teach you based on steps, it can take you to generate steps, step one, step two, step three, um, and highlighting what and what, and what f functions or what and what ta tasks you have to carry out to get to the answer while you are also following. So it becomes very easy to interact and learn from the bot as well. So this is another way to experience it. So this um, Claude, and then another prompt that I like most is when Ryan Morrison asked the chatbot to, what about his children, okay, his child that is going to school. With the latest advancements in chatbot or in the AI industry, it is showing that gradually that there is no need for him to go for for his child to go to school because most of the things that he's going to learn you can find it on the AI chatbot and now the AI gave him an gave it an gave him an answer that I personally like and I f I feel like it's worth it for you to read this answer just read through to understand that there are some things there are some tasks that only human being can do that the machine cannot do regardless of how they developed regardless of the revolution taking place there are some things that human beings can only only human beings can do the robots cannot take over completely our jobs okay so just take a look just go through this you can pause the video and go through this here are some points you can make to your son on the importance of school despite advances in ai okay so ai will not replace all the jobs okay so it gives reasons a growth mindset is the key meaning that the child has to consistently be having the growth mindset to going go to school, believe in the ability to develop and expand through the efforts and hard work and persistence that he's going to put in the education process because having the education is going to help him to interact better with the AI uh, chatbots, okay? And then learning is a lifelong process. It's a lifelong benefit. What he learns in school goes beyond just preparing him for a job. Okay, this like critical thinking, communications and time management skills. He can apply this 
also in his day-to-day -day life life okay so it can foster curiosity about the world and this will benefits like this uh, benefits of learning cannot be replaced by ai okay so he needs this knowledge for his own day-to-day -day activity even if not for job seeking and so on he needs it to navigate through life on his own and then you can see the continuation adapting to change will be crucial because as the chat gpts or as the uh, chatbots are gaining um, more more and more uh, attention and interest human beings also are supposed to be changing and adapting to crucial changes that the machines or the robots are bringing in so that is going to help us so with the ed education system it, you can get skills that can help you to work better with the ai stuff and then we can have social and emotional development matter as well so school plays an important role in the social emotional and character development all this you cannot find with the machine with the chatbot interacting with your peers with your teachers and participating in extracurricular activities you can learn all this only through schools okay and then we can have going to school will help you to balance between technology and human interactions so only the going to school will integrate your education with human you integrate with teachers you connect with your students your cosmates and in a world of increasing ai and automation balancing the technology with real human interaction will be key to leading a fulfilled life so you have to create a balance you have to create a balance and you have to find yourself relevant no matter what and only in school you'll be able to find all those relevance okay and then lastly his interest and passions may change over time. So at his age, your son's view on this, on his future career and interest are likely to change significantly. Now, a broad quality education will expose him to a range of subjects, activities, and pursuits that may spark new interests and passions. So my own, the last sentence is what I like most about this chatbot. He said, help him keep an open mind about his options in life. So the only way to keep him to keep his mind open about options in life is to go to school. Then he will have the opportunity to connect, to learn, to think, to have options on what, what he intends to do in life. So you can just help him to go to school so that he can develop that open mindedness, open mind mindset to make clear and better choices in life. So I like this response and I tried. That's why I feel like I should share with you because it's really, really exceptional with the coming of the AI, the transformation, the revolution. A lot of people are becoming scary about the future. So with this, you know that go to school and follow these steps, but then you have to try to be adaptive to the change that is coming up so i think at this point thanks for watching now remember to give this video a thumbs up if you have derived any benefits so far and i look forward to seeing you in the next one so bye